Greetings, dear, precious spirit soul that you are. See, I don't say hello, because it sounds a lot like go to low hell, you know, oh, hello. No, it's very important to be conscious of the words they're using so that we use only those words that are empowering us, enriching us, and others, you see, that are harmonious with who we really are. My topic is the secret of freedom. You know, it's interesting, free dome. Well, the, the head is called, this is a dome, isn't it? You could call it the queen dome or the king dome uh, and free dome. And that would mean, in a way, to be free of, of, of limitations, free of, of blockages, free of lies, free of beliefs that are um, limiting or discouraging or causing all kinds of ills. So a free dome would be to be free of these layers or these veils of ignorance of so much programming. Just you think about all the stuff you've got stored in the mind and the unconscious or the subconscious or however we want to call that, that we don't even know about. But it's been put in subliminally or in a hypnotic trance of some kind. And it's <clears throat> a statement or a command that had been given to us at some time when we were very tiny and it was like you know uh, it's like you don't know anything so the person was there I guess I don't know anything so then you always doubt yourself and doubt is the destroyer of your dreams doubt is that which d d eliminates uh, your ability to manifest your heart's desire, which is natural, you see. And you want to know how to do that in this reality, you see. Because we can't help but manifest because we're creator God. So when I say greetings or hi or, or, or uh, buenos dias, it's being conscious of what I, what I am saying because it has, those words have so much meaning in, in all of this. And how we're really free and have a freedom is that when we take what's in the unconscious and bring it to conscious so that then we can examine it and notice what it's made from and what it's doing. Now it's not just consciousness. Uh, what I like is that there's a, the explanation of consciousness, what you know and what you do with what you know. But it isn't always what you know, it's what you know that isn't so. Because if you believe that is not true, then you're acting from that which isn't a truth and it's actually not going to give you the result that you want because it's counterproductive. It's, see, that which is in the unconscious and you're not conscious of, you see, there's a lot of things going on in the body and all that you're not being conscious of, but in another way you are because your state of being is actually determining that DNA, that it, it is actually... Uh, of, 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 let's see, what you mean? If you're, you're the, the master of that body, so your consciousness pervades the body. And that when we activate our spiritual consciousness, you see, truly, our spiritual body gets activated, our spirit soul body gets activated. And in the unconscious, you see, is if, if we, that is a program that's working below the, the level of awareness until the person is ready to do the work, to go in, to see, to examine those, find, and, and bring those into the light of day, you see, the, not, not day, but the light of your own real eyes, Asian, you're with real eyes, you can see that it's a lie. And when you do that, or you see what it is, you see, you then pick and choose that which you choose to accept and agree with and actually then to manifest. And it's not just that, it's also your actions, you see, so that you do that. And when we um, have real freedom, it's that our own dome, our own 
resonated. In fact, I was in the Taj Mahal. Um, it was magnificent. It, it's, it's one of those art expressions that the perfection of the shape of it and the energy, I could see the energy waves in this place and it was, it's beyond any photograph. You could never, because see that when there's another dimension, and not even another dimension, I don't like just dimensions because that's levels and stuff, but another, you can use it if you want, all that stuff, but it's the divine. Like what I saw in my spiritual body, which I know everybody has, was beautiful. When I wanted to see what that looked like in the the glass of the window, because I could see the body, it, it wouldn't show me the face because I was perceiving beyond the glass darkly. I was perceiving the divine and and the glass of the window could not reflect the divine because it do, isn't at that level, that vibration, that frequency, you see? So when we activate then the spiritual body, you see, activate that spiritual body, we activate our spiritual self, that is the greatest work there is. And there's nothing better for that. And then, in that, you're able then to fulfill that desired uh, destiny, you might say. Because, you see, I, I did some work yesterday on this. And you don't have to follow your destiny. Mm -mm. See, the, the, I, people, some might, you might get a little upset with this, but just kind of just, you're attached to this. But astrology, at some level, is a... Um, uh, it's a belief system, obviously. There's a, I got a lot of value out of it. It was, it was cool. But, you know, you see people say, well, I'm a this, I'm a that. Well, you're not really. You're not a sign. You're a divine being with all potential and all. For, so then, like, say, if someone says, well, it's, my, it's in my karma and it's in my astrology that it's going to be this and that and this and that. And yet you're accepting that, and that's the truth. Or someone read your fortune and told you that this was going to be and that was going to be. And then you accept that, and you take that on as if that is set in like some kind of cement or thing. And it's a concept. Do you see what I'm saying? And people maybe have told us, or you say, in my family this runs this way, or... No one's ever been able to do this before, and who do I think I am? And, and I want to tell you, there's one, one main thing that's the big, the big stopper, is what will people think? And that people will criticize you, and people will judge you. So how much of the time are we trying to be so that nobody criticizes us, nobody judges us, nobody knows that we're around, nobody feels challenged by who we are and what we're saying only because we're just alive and we're being who we are, you see. So that's that courage then that you, you have when you're no longer have these programs running. That's what you want to do when you come to, to the Shasta spiritual experience in nature and such. And we work together or over the phone in our, in our counseling sessions, teaching sessions, you see. And, and I always work on, on love offerings, uh, uh, contributions. Sometimes I set a, a fee or a price for different things. But I want to make sure everybody, that's why we do this for free. That's why I do all these YouTubes for free. And, and if when you help and support this and our work of Adventures in Enlightenment, and, and when we can continue to offer this for free, so anybody anywhere can get that if they've got a computer and, and can tune in. And because this, this is most important. So then you, when you help and you contribute to what we're doing here at Adventures in Enlightenment, and then you can, um, well, may I say, you're helping others. You see, that's the greatest gift in the world is to help others to know who they are. And so I invite you then to be participating. And also I've got all these great uh, seminars coming up here. Uh, the uh, manifestation, the power of manifestation, the art and the science of manifestation. And in three, it's a three months course, so it's just one day uh, a month, the end of April, May, and June, and I want to be doing these courses that you could come, and we're going to have lunch and such, and maybe come with friends that you carpool together, and it'll be a wonderful, wonderful adventure, and a time for us to be together and to work together 
And this is how we transform the world, one of us at a time as we transform our own world. And instead of living in fear and doubt and old programs and what people, they are going to criticize you, they are going to judge you, they're all going to find fault if they're living in the mind because the mind, people who believe the false mind, become psychopaths because they are not connected to their heart to the joy of being, to who they are and what they are, and to, and to actually work for and endeavor for the welfare of all. So when we want to bring forth the real world, or the they might call it the new, but it is a knowing world, the, the, the reality in the world of, of your own sweetness, your own who you are, your own talents, your own abilities, your, because you have what you need. And it's the key is when we start giving, we start outflowing our, our, our talents and our abilities and our, our, our gifts it, with the intent of, of serving. And serving is not slavery at all. Serving is where the joy is because it's in the giving that we are also receiving, you see, and allowing ourselves to be in the law of circulation, the giving and the receiving, you see, so that we are this open flow. So how we have that freedom, true freedom, is the free dome, and to go into the unconscious to bring these up, and this is a work we do, and as you eliminate those, the outer world is going to start transforming instantly, and that is the realm that most people would love to live in. It's called the land of miracles, and it's, and it's a beautiful way to be as you live out your eternity. Cool, huh?